What's up YouTube? Thanks for joining in. Just wanted to make a quick video here about how to install a simple on off switch for the Traxxas 8028 power supply which is um, the poor man's light controller and power supply for the TRX4 and other Traxxas RC truck and car lighting kits. Um, <clears throat> it has a couple ports, I think four connection ports here. Um, for this application, my TRX4, we're running the rock crawler lights here that are in the wheel wells and then the um, body kit light set for the 79 Blazer here which comes with headlights, tail lights, and marker lights and we're going to be plugging that in as well so we're going to be eating up two of these slots. But anyone familiar with this kit or with this power supply knows that <clears throat> it doesn't come with an on off switch which makes it kind of a hassle uh, to turn your lights on and off because anytime you want to turn your lights on or off you have to plug or unplug the little JST connectors which can be a big pain so obviously it's time to figure out an on off method now if you're using the Traxxas uh, advanced power supply the high output supply that is Traxxas link enabled uh, with the Traxxas app and the Bluetooth connectivity with your telemetry <clears throat> that system can be controlled uh, uh, to turn on and off lights through the Traxxas link app but again um, this is for the Poe folks here and uh, we're just using a, a regular 8028 to power up the lights on our trucks so I did a little bit of research and found a pretty cool on off switch it's a three pack um, from Amazon.com it's, uh, it's called the Share Goo, S-H-A-R-E, Goo, G-O-O. And um, they look a little bit like this here. Actually, they look exactly like this. Just a little tiny on-off switch, two wires out each side, and they come pre-wired with JST connectors. Now, the one side connector, this female connector, is exactly what we need to plug into the power supply because our uh, our ESC power supply because our light power supply the 8028 um, is receives its power from the ESC and it will utilize this connection here coming out of your ESC and it will plug right into this female connector of the on off switch so we're going to go ahead and do that pretty simple right and so here is the lead into the light power supply right here so this is the positive lead here with the white line the black wire with the white line is our positive lead however with this switch we have three prongs and this lead going into the light power supply is a two prong but we can fix that simply by using a pair of side cutters and just cutting this whole section out right there which will leave us with one that looks like this and you can shave it up and clean it up with a razor blade and actually create a two prong connector out of a three prong so that's what I did there and uh, we'll go ahead and unplug this we'll plug in the one that I've already modified like that so now we have the two-sided connector here is our power lead into our light supply our light power supply and we'll go ahead and just plug that in remember red side goes with the black wire with the white stripe so it does a little crossover there so we're going to be just like that red black wire with white stripe so now all we've done is placed an on off switch in that circuit there simple as that now this will control your whole power block here so you won't have to add this for each light or anything you're now powering on and off the entire power supply now this red wire that goes to the receiver 
which is just a signaler, does not get touched. There's no need to change anything, plug it in just like the directions say to do, and nothing needs to be changed there. We're just interrupting this one line here. This can be mounted anywhere. I've seen guys, excuse me, seen guys that are you know, mounting them down here on wheel wells and then reaching up and pulling the body away so they can get their finger in there and actuate the switch. And I just said, you know, there's got to be a better way. So I thought I had just enough wire here that we could maybe drill two holes in the battery tray here so we can get some zip ties in there and then tuck this down in there along the frame rail and mount this switch back here underneath the body mount so all we have to do is reach up from underneath and actuate the switch back and forth and we'll just zip tie that in place and clean up our wires and I'll be right back. What's up guys, we're back. Just wanted to show you this real quick, how I cleaned up my wires here. As I said before, we drilled two little holes here in the battery uh, tray, and that just allowed me to run some zip ties through there and mount this wire up here along this battery pack uh, tray rail there, and then go ahead and loop it back and around. And I like to mount my switches here right underneath that cross member. It allows us to reach right up and under and turn that switch on and off, controlling our lights very easily. We don't have to pry the body apart, get fingers under there or anything like that. We have nice wide open space here. I even have the skid plates on the back, so that's not interfering with anything. It's just a nice, easy location for the switch. And it's still pretty high up off the ground, so the water crossings hopefully don't get to it. All right, so just wanted to go over that real quick. Let's go ahead and plug her up a little bit. And I'll show you just with the crawler lights, how effective it is. Go ahead and turn this on. And so we have lights already. So if you look now, we have a nice, easy, on-off switch for our entire power supply. Gotta love it, five bucks. It's effective, fast, easy to install. You can't go wrong with it. Just remember, black wire with white stripe is your positive lead, and happy trucking. Like for five dollars in a couple minutes of your time.